Hello Level friends, if you like, Level can help you with new projects by using one of our starter kits. We have two for you. There is Breeze and there is Chatstream. Today we will talk about Breeze which is the minimal one of those two. Breeze is also used in our Level bootcamp where we show you how to build a full application and blogging platform with Level. Check this out if you'd like to be guided through building an application with Level. But back to Breeze now. As often, the easiest way to get started is by using our installer where you also get asked if you'd like to pick a starter kit. Yes, we do. So if you pick Breeze, you will see a few options here, Blade, Livewire or Inertia. So depending on what stack you prefer for your application, you can pick the Breeze option um, that suits you best. So if you like to go with Blade, that's fine. That's also what we recommend if you're not sure what to pick. Then for Livewire, we also have two options. And if you want to learn more about that, I'll link here a video which I also did about Livewire here in this series. And the same goes for Inertia, which you could choose if you want to use Inertia with you or React. And I also got a video, again, somewhere up here, you will find it so you can learn more about Inertia. Does anyone say dark mode? Yes, we have the two. And now let's see what this gives us. And this is what our application currently looks like when we open it up in the browser. This is Level's welcome screen. But we also can see already some links here for login and for register. Let's register a new user. Christoph at Laravel.com. Let's use a super safe password, of course. And here we go. This is our dashboard, which also comes with Breeze already. We have some navigation at the top here. We have a little profile where we can update our profile information, change the password, or we can even delete the account if we want to. But also pretty cool, of course, when you log out and try to log in again, if you forgot our password, we can send, just send us a new one or a link to create a new one to be precise. So this also comes through Breeze. But let's log in here again, Christoph at Laravel.com, my super safe password. Here we go. And all of this, what we see here are now blade files. And this is something that we can now customize ourselves. So if I go here to resources in my projects, you can see on the views, we already have a bunch of plate files here coming from Breeze, like the dashboard where I can just easily customize this and change some text here like this one. You are locked in my friend. And since this is just plate PHP file, we can yeah change everything here right away without any step of processing these files, which is pretty cool and also pretty fast. So you can just customize this whole authentication system to what you want it to be. But already by default, it looks pretty cool. But of course, Breeze already got some more features for you. I'm just showing you one example here. So for example, you maybe want to make sure that a user must verify their email. So you can just implement this interface here. And this already tells Breeze to do this. So if we go back here, log out and try to register with someone else. Let's take Nuno. Nuno at Laravel.com. His super safe password. And you can see we are logged in, but we still need to um, verify that the email belongs to us, which we can now do through Hurt because all my local emails go directly here. And you can see I can here verify my email address and you can see we are already logged in here now as Nuno because he has verified his email. And this is just one of those other features that Breeze provides. So yeah, there is much more for you to discover. And that's how you set up Breeze. We're not forcing anything on you, just giving you this tiny little heads up so you can start building your next application right away. As always, check out the official docs to learn more about Breeze and have fun. Bye.